I would like to present an article by Colin A. Johnson called Solving the Rubik's Cube with Learned Guidance Functions. If you are interested, you can read it in detail. The DOI and URL I have put in the screen. The Rubik's Cube is a popular puzzle game that challenges players to manipulate a cube until each face is a solid color. The main contribution of this article is the proposal of a new algorithm for solving the Rubik's Cube problem, Learned Guidance Functions. We have two surveys that show the existing approaches, metric learning and a bespoke approach to solving the Rubik's Cube. This article summarizes learning based on existing methods and proposes a learning guide function. How can it be implemented? This paper presents the LGF idea, based on previous learning, which asks a new question by increasing the size of the verb set, how close are we to the target state? The improvements are made to the algorithm. One approach is to use backtracking in the search algorithm. Another is to try other search processes to avoid local minima due to inaccurate assignment of states to grades. Another approach is to learn qualitative differences between states, assigning a label to pairs of states from closer, same, farther. Core data features are attributes of the dataset used to train the learning guidance function. Specifically, these include cube state, includes information about the color and position of the Rubik's cube blocks. The number of moves required to move a tesseract block from its initial state to its target state. The time taken to move and the number of labels for each class in the training set. This article evaluates two experiments, both quantitatively and qualitatively. It is demonstrated that there is sufficient accuracy to apply these LGFs to the Rubik's Cube problem and that LGF-driven perturbation algorithms are generally more likely to solve the problem. It is also evaluated in terms of the percentage of successful trials and the average number of moves required to reach the target state. Thank you for watching.